AI and machine learning will change um, practically every aspect of our lives over the next five to ten years, um, from self-driving cars to um, voice interfaces in your home to financial services. I think it it allows us to spot patterns that that humans couldn't spot and really understand uh, to solve problems, understand things in an incredibly deep way. Um, so that might be fraud detection, it might be credit assessment, it might be understanding what products or services you want without you even knowing it. AI could have a really interesting impact across the banking value chain. So I think right now there's a lot of opportunity in automation. So there's a lot of costs that bank have um, in um, uh, engaging with customer queries, customer complaints, and AI could pose a potential opportunity in that. I also think the idea of robo-advice uh, could extend out further than where it is. So the idea of an agent, an artificial agent, that can help me better manage my money across my uh, whole banking life, not just managing an investment portfolio. So I think AI will have a significant impact. I think there is a trust question. There's a, there's a piece around our side about needing to invest and develop and grow the right tools. Um, but there's also a trust question from our customers. So when you deal with a bank, you deal with a bank you trust, you're, you're investing with them, your savings, your future, your business. It's really important that you know you're going to get the right level of support and engagement from that bank. So thinking about the AI piece, I think at the moment at any rate, there's some really interesting opportunities around things like conversational UI, where perhaps we can take, a, take pressure out of some of our frontline teams to help customers more seamlessly with some of the more normal inquiries, the point where they're phoning in or they're messaging us from their mobile, is there a way of making that a better experience for the customer and actually taking some pressure off our frontline teams that allow them to then spend more time focusing on more complex, more difficult, more demanding customer issues which do take time, which do take a real person. Whether or not we'd ever get to a world in which we'd replace you know, our frontline teams who are really well trained, who, are, who provide that really important human engagement with chatbots, I don't see that happening. But what I do see happening is a world in which we can much faster answer the calls, deliver responses to our customers, and then give our teams a much better, deeper level of training to help customers with those big life problems. Things are moving from being mobile first to AI first. Um, as a bank, we are also um, uh, planning to um, innovate uh, through chatbots um, next year and um, well, well we'll keep looking into this area and see where it takes us. The way that I see it as solving some of the existing problems of our current bank instead of having a call center for instance or relying hundred percent on the call center through a chatbot on the public website you would be able to get some answers 24-7 um, in a smarter way. Mm -hmm.